Hi guys, how are you? So we are discussing GATT 2018 question paper. The major product formed in the following reaction scheme. Here a 5 membered ketone, cyclic ketone, and this is pyrrolidine in presence of acid, and then an alpha beta unsaturated ketone, then H3O plus, and then aqueous NOH. The product X is formed, and then uh, one sulfur elide that is sulfonium elide and the product y is formed we have to identify x and y so in this reaction first what will happen first it reacts with a secondary amine to form in acid medium to form the enamine ketone sorry ketone reacts with a secondary amine to form an enamine now here two types of enamine may be formed this and this double bond may be here or double bond may be here what will be the major product this will be the major product because if uh, as this is planar so if it is in plane here the hydrogen two hydrogens are there the methyl group which will create steady crowding and here if uh, it is in plane here only hydrogen is there and this hydrogen cannot create any steady crowding so this enamine will not form this will form only now if uh, this enamine is treated with an alpha beta unsaturated ketone then what will happen Michael addition will take place in Michael addition is a 1 for addition so it will attack here as this is a carbon nucleophile and this is a soft center so generally the uh, nucleophile attack at uh, this center that is one for addition will take place so the product will be this now if it is uh, uh, then if it is acidified then it will take one proton and this bond will hydrolyze to ketone so the product will be it will be this and this now if uh, it is treated with aqueous NOH and heat so what will happen now the OH minus will abstract this proton and the corresponding enolate will be formed here now intramolecular aldol reaction will aldol condensation will take place so this pi bond will attack into this carbon and here 1 2 3 4 5 6 a 6 member ring will be formed here will be one O minus and this is the keto here is one methyl group now this will take one proton to form and beta hydroxy ketone
so beta hydroxy ketone will be formed here is the OH now if it is heated then OH minus will take uh, this proton and dehydration will take place this mechanism is U1CB mechanism U1CB this is the conjugate base here elimination is taking place and it is via U1CB that is elimination via conjugate base this is the slow step so if OH- minus, uh, will eliminate then we will get the product and it will be an alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound double bond so this will be the product now so this is x in our question this is x and if it is treated with this elide sulfur elide that is sulfonium elide then what will be the product this sulfonium elide uh, here is a question of chemoselectivity arises sulfonium, sulfonium elide uh, may add in this double bond as well as in this double bond sulfonium elide mainly attack at this elide uh, this double bond that is uh, carbonyl compound so it will attack here we uh, i made one video chemoselectivity of uh, sulfur elide you can visit that uh, video so that you will get to know why the sulfonium elide is attacking at this car uh, this uh, electrophilic center not why not here now it will attack here minus me 2s and a uh, epoxide ring will be formed so the product will be here epoxide so this will be the product next question the major product formed uh, m and n in the following reaction sequence so this is an epoxide which is treated with li pph2 li plus pph2 minus this is the nucleophile so what will happen here epoxide ring opening reaction will take place now here is the matter of reoselectivity arises that is this nucleophile will attack in this carbon or in this carbon as this is uh, going in SN2 mode so where the uh, steric crowding is less the nucleophile will attack there as here the hydrogen uh, the two groups are hydrogen and CH3 whereas it is CH3 and OME this is uh, less sterically crowded so the PPH2- minus will attack mainly into this side and a ring opening reaction will take place so the product will be if li pph2 minus then the product will be uh, here pph2 in plane hydrogen is below the plane c3 is above the plane and here O minus Li plus it is above the plane below the plane now if it is treated with CH3I CH3I then here the lone pair electrons are there it will attack into this methyl and iodine will eliminate it so the product will be here P, PH2, C, 
is 3 plus h is 3 o c is 3 c is 3 here o minus li plus now if we rotate this uh, sigma bond at about 180 degree then this um, bond uh, this group will uh, uh, seen pretty planar with this group so rotation about 120 degree yeah, 180 degree so it will be o minus it will be p ch2 ch3 plus and if we rotate this now this is in plane so this ch3 will go below the plane and this hydrogen will go above the plane and here o ch3 it will remain as usual now a four member ring will be formed p ph2 ch3 h ch3 ome ch3 this is an oxa phosphatin intermediate oxa phosphatin intermediate and as phosphorus has strong affinity towards oxygen this will be cleaved and here a scene elimination will take place minus p ph2 double bond o ch3 so here an alkene will be formed and that will have stereochemistry uh, this two ch3 group will be on the same side sorry this is hydrogen and this is ome so here uh, m is this and uh, n is this this is the alkene next question the major product formed p and q in the following reaction so here is a as you can see here is a diene this is a dienophile dienophile and if it is heated at 180 degree then a 4 plus 2 cycle addition that is dill cell reaction will take place so we will do this we will draw it like this plus CnOAC 4 plus 2 cycle addition now here uh, the reduced selectivity will be 1 4 we will discuss it later that means here a bridged uh, bicyclic system will be formed here will be the double bond here OSIME3 and uh, the CN will be in endo position and OAC will be in exo due to secondary orbital interaction uh, the electron withdrawing group will come in endo position so this will be the product now if it is treated with excess NOME OME minus what will happen OAC means O CUCH3 so M minus will attack here so it will be O minus CN and uh, as well as OME will attack into this SI so this OSI bond will cleave and it will rearrange and take one proton from MeOH 
and it will convert a keto group on the other end it will also uh, cn minus will eliminated to form another keto group this reaction you can compare like if a ketone is there and when hcn is added then cn minus will add here and the corresponding uh, this will be formed this can be uh, considered like this and this is the reverse reaction of this and this reaction is actually a reversible reaction so here from this cyanide this keto is converted um, um, convert into this keto group now if it is uh, treated with ph mgbr ph mgbr one equivalent then ph minus will attack into this uh, carb uh, carbonyl group ph minus and exo attack is uh, more favorable than endo attack so the product will be here the ph omgbr here the keto group is there and if it is treated with h2so4 dilute acid then it will take one proton and it will be converted to oh ph oh now if it is heated in acid medium then it will be protonated and it will be converted to oh2 and then it will be eliminated and sn e1 reaction will take place i'll draw so this carbocation will be formed and one of this two hydrogen will be eliminated taken by oh2 and the corresponding alkene will be formed here will be a double bond so this will be the product